I have to say, Senator, I, I was shocked when I heard the answer, the Trump lawyer answer to the uh, Senator Collins and Murkowski question, which was the very simple question of exactly what did Donald Trump do? Uh, when did he discover uh, the Capitol was invaded and what did he do? And, and for them to have nothing was was truly shocking because, you know, that some guilty votes were in that lawyer's hands at that moment. He either had an answer for that or he didn't. It was shocking, but it was also deeply offensive. It was an insult to all of our intelligence and smart people like Senators Collins and Murkowski, I'm sure, were offended by it. But it goes to a larger failing in this defense. They are assuming that the fix is in. Uh, they are sure they have 17 senators who won't part ways. And I think that the other really striking feature of this case is how close, how very close we came to even greater disaster, how much worse it could have been. And you've described some of the injuries, really serious maiming injuries and the deaths of the heroic Capitol Police who perished. But, you know, there's also the effect on our capital. And I thought of this point today as I was walking to the Capitol. It's ringed with huge fences and barbed wire. The capital of the greatest nation in the history of the world looks like some banana republic ringed by troops and barbed wire. That's what Donald Trump has left us. And it is the result of the domestic terrorism, the mob that he not only mobilized, but he built by giving it this kind of grievance ammunition. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.